Is that Garrett? Garrett of Vivia? Sir! Come to me, please! Approach! My eyes were not deceived, yet so far south. You, sir, of all folk in all your fame. Mm-hmm. Me, south in all my fame. Ah, oh, I've heard so much. Why, when Master Dandelion tarried in Beauclair, not a day passed without him baying out a ballad in admiration of your teeds. <laughs> yeah, unwelcome little habit of his. But, what can I do for you? Ah, oh, you see my betrothed, Francois Le Goff, vowed in my honor to bring me the head of the horrid beast they call Gretore. Mm, couldn't have gotten you a bouquet, some sweets in a bag. Witcher, sir, you jest. A love most true demands proof through heroic deeds dedicated to the heart's captor. But alas, Francois has been gone a fortnight. Thus, I must plead with you to see what's become of him. Could you? Would you? This Gratore. Know anything else about it, mademoiselle? Judging by the name, guessing it lives in a cave. Yes. From which it prowls when hungry. By night, when all are asleep, it creeps into villages. Then, of a sudden, breaks open shutters, reaches inside and snatches babes from their cradles so quickly they've not the time to yelp. Hmm. Nocturnal. Long prehensile arms. Intelligent. Francois claimed he would cut the filth down in a snap. But he's been gone so long. Will you help, sir? I cannot sleep. I fear this worrying will be the death of me. Do my damnedest to get your fiancé back safe and sound. Just, uh, mind telling me where to look for him? I forget you come from afar and do not know our land. They say Gratore has its lair in the caves at the foot of the Gorgon Hills. That close to the city? Telling me no bold souls have ventured out to defeat the beast? Quite the contrary. Plenty have, but none's returned. My concern is well founded. I see. All right. High time I set off. Hold, Master. A beast lurks in there. Right. Expected as much, cause I... Shh! Quiet! Before you wake it. Come. I've camped nearby. We shall talk there. What do they call you? What's your crest? Speak! Name's Geralt. No crest, no motto, no plumed helmet even. I'm a witcher. Francois Le Goff, I presume. Your betrothed sent me. See, you've been gone a while, so you've got her worried. I... well, indeed, for... For... Grotore is a most fearsome beast. I must prepare properly for battle. Takes two weeks, that? I have tarried a bit, true, but the delay is done. My word I gave, thus the beast shall die. Wouldn't happen to need any help, would you? I... I don't know. After all, I did swear a solemn oath to... Deposit the beast's head at your beloved's feet. No mention of you killing it all by yourself, though. All in all, I... I suppose you're right. We must fight side by side, then. For honor! I should be the one to lop off its head. Hmm, strange. No sign of Gratori. Perhaps we should turn back? If there's no beast, there's no beast. Damn shame, but we tried. Not so fast. Let's take a look around. 
impressive. You'd think you were in a winter garden. Cradle filled with children's shoes. Have I've ever seen a collection this grotesque? feeding. Need to lure it. Uh, very well. To work then. Gods, thy will be done. Various sundries, some tools. Gratori must have taken them from its victims. close one. I drank a lot of potions but forgot the most important one when it comes to poison. I think it skipped over my head because I was just like, kill it quick. <sighs> By my troth, the damned brute was sturdy. I, I'm grateful, Witcher. You ate at me greatly. Why the challenge? Couldn't have gone after something less formidable? A werebub, for instance? Uh, why? For... For the beast must match in ferocity the very ardor of my affection and... You're blushing, Sir Knight. Oh, it's my betrothed. The thing is, she champs at the pit to get married when we've not known one another but two years. So I bowed to slay Gratori. Thought it would buy me time to battle such a beast why it could take months. Mm hmm Especially at the rate you were going. High time you returned to Beauclair, brave knight. Nay, uh, nay. The head of this beast is a trifle, wholly inadequate to express the love I harbor for my betrothed. The world awaits. <laughs> To honor her, I shall cut down another, more terrible beast. Take my advice. Grab the damned head and cut the shit. You are blind to my predicament. Once I return, I will have no recourse. She will drag me to the nearest shrine, one. Shut up and listen. Crests, scrap metal armor, swooning damsels. All that's nothing to do with hunting monsters, which is work. Damn hard, dangerous, and thankless work that you're just not cut out for. Want to prove your valor? Go back to your betrothed and be honest. Tell her you're not ready to marry. You do not mince words, master. In Tucson, one might demand satisfaction upon trampled ground, or a lesser slight. Yet, there is truth in what you say, I cannot deny. I survived with my life by a hair. It is time, time I returned home.
great things around here. Oh? At least Got good news, madam. As do I. Francois has returned. We marry in a week's time. <laughs> Prenuptial teachings at the temple tomorrow. Dress fitting the next morn, then a tour of the wedding venue. I have never been so happy. Hmm. Not sure these nuptials are a great idea. What? I beg your pardon? Young Master Legoff. Well, he wasn't exactly raring to get hitched. Seems to me you two should re- Well, I never. The nerve. Not another word. Take your coin. Leave us be. I should have just pretended that talking to Francois was an option instead of trying to tell her about his predicament.